What's going on, people? Yes, we are live. Live. It's alive. Um. Anyway, I hope you guys are all doing all right out there. You can let me know if you can uh, hear me. Yeah, I see a signal there, audio signal. Uh, hey, what's up? HBB Gaming, Lord. Oh, Jord the Gamer. Movie Night Animation, U.S. Infantry, hoo Josh Dale, what's up? All right. Let's see. That went by so fast. I think he said he could hear me clear. I can hear you very clear. Nice. I'm using some new gear today for my guitar sound. I'm doing a direct line. <laughs> Let me know how that, um, the guitar sounds all right, too. A weird time, obviously, in the whole world right now. We're all affected by this thing. Uh, so I like to always, Marty Music, the channel, my vibe. I'm always trying to, like, be, you know, guitar can be an escape from crap that you're dealing with out there. And just my role in teaching people guitar, having fun with the music, is to be that escape. So... Let's just talk about some guitar. I mean, we can talk about whatever you want, but get into some guitar. Uh, I've gotten a lot of messages this week from people saying like, oh, I'm, I want to play uh, more guitar now that I'm like, you know, uh, my kids aren't in school and we're taking, you know, quarantine, all that kind of stuff. So um, I was thinking about uh, your guitar foundation. And one of the things that I noticed, I'm going to talk about a beginner thing. And I'll talk about a little intermediate thing. Uh, and then hopefully get a little advanced for all of you guys. But if you're already a more advanced player, and I'm talking about beginner stuff, maybe you can use these tips to help teach someone else. Uh... <laughs> Thanks for all the comments, you guys. That's all I'm looking at there. Um, so one thing is when beginners are like having, they are saying they're struggling with their rhythm. One of the things that I've noticed about that is a lot of times they just haven't gotten the muscle memory down on the actual left hand shape yet, which then slows down their right hand rhythm. So one of the a, a really important tip I think for you guys is when you're doing the basic chords, uh, like a let's take like a C major chord, you want to think of the of the starting finger the the highest up finger this way. For instance, uh, a C chord, you can get your ring finger on the third fret of the A string as opposed to when you're learning the C chord starting with your index finger on the first fret of the B. When your index finger is on the first fret of the B, your hand can be anywhere. And I see beginners all the time take that first finger, then the next finger, then the next finger. But what I recommend is if you use your ring finger first, it puts your whole hand already, it forces your hand into the shape that you need, as opposed to starting here. So let's just go over those real quick. So a G chord would have the middle finger on the third fret of the E string. So you think of the top finger as like your anchor point. And this is for learning chords. Eventually, you know, you, you want to just be able to nail the chord. But you got to start somewhere. And anyway, thanks for the comments, you guys. Australia, what's up? Good day. Uh, Cam is in quarantine. Take care. Everyone take care. Um, and that's what we're, we're here for right now. 
Uh, okay, so for a G chord, you'd think middle finger on the third fret of the E as opposed to ring finger on the high E first. And it puts your hand into that position. And then for a D chord, I'll take the, uh, the overdrive off. For the D chord, you can think index finger on the second fret of the G. Like that. So you're thinking top finger. Then from there, and I have a little list here, for instance, an E major chord, middle finger on the second fret of the A string. And uh, Lord Death, oh boy, Lord Death gave me a super chat here, but he said, thanks for teaching guitar. I'm great. Well, thank you, Lord Death. <laughs> Hopefully we don't meet for a while. <laughs> um... Okay, so let's take an E chord now. Shout out from Qatar. What's up? Y Pi Sa Silingen. London calling. Nice. French. Nice. Garrick is drinking quarantinis. Yes. I don't mind the humor. I just want everyone to be as safe, healthy, happy as, as we all can. We're all in this together on planet Earth, and guitar can be a great way to pass the time. So, so far I've talked about for the beginners out there, um, to work on your rhythm, you gotta be switching your chords better. And sometimes you overlook that. And so if you think of the top finger as your anchor point, so like one finger, think of one finger as like the representation of the, the, the whole chord. So for E major, we're gonna take our middle finger and put it on the second fret of the A string. And we've got that chord there. And by the way, I said this earlier, but I've actually got a direct line going into an audio recorder. So like the guitar you're hearing, it's coming from a universal audio aux box. You guys are familiar with that. So I'm excited to have that new gear. But so, uh, E chord, middle finger on the second fret of the A, and you form that shape. Another good tip is to keep the shape, take your hand off while you're still keeping that shape, and then putting it back on, like so. Then, sometimes, another way to work it, and we've got another super chat. Uh, he said he was subscriber 4,999, still waiting on his t-shirt. Much love. All right, Gino, let's see what we can do about the, uh, the t-shirt for you. And I do have uh, shirts and mugs and stuff like that, um, you know, right there on the Teespring store on the YouTube channel, if anyone is interested. Uh, apparently, a t-shirt that says, hey, what's up, you guys, outsells all my other merchandise by like 80%. So anyway, mugs with that as well. Okay, so another thing you can do is like when you're watching uh, Netflix or a movie, I, a long time ago, I used to say, oh, you're waiting for your Pop-Tart to come out of the toaster. That's a good opportunity. You're thinking of something else, and you're just doing a little bit of muscle memory programming. Not like, not anything overkill, but like, you know. Any chord you can think of, you just switch them. So that's another thing. Then uh, uh, there's great classic songs that use these chords with kind of a simple rhythm. And the first one that comes to my mind would be Knocking on Heaven's Door, which we, we've got G, D, and C. So G, you know, you're thinking that finger. D, you're thinking your starting point there. And then C, you're thinking that ring finger there. Now, if you've got like a looper pedal, which I have, uh, Marty Music Looper. If you're really a beginner, you just do all down strums, keep a rhythm, and you're good. Now I have to rock it out though. The Looper pedal.
Well, thanks for the super chat there. That was uh, John Keller. He said, my voice is a bit low. Yeah! Hey! Well, I can turn it up right here. I have access to it. Turn it up a little bit. Hey! All right. I turned it up a little. Thank you. I've got a mixing. <laughs> you wouldn't believe the crap that you would trip over right now, you guys. I have it out of the frame, but I've got pedal board. I've got an audio recorder. I've got a monitor. I've got two amps over to the side, a speaker cabinet, universal aux, uh, a, a condenser microphone, a full sound mixer down here, two giant power strips with cables coming out of everywhere, uh, some guitars, the surf green, which has been looking blue in my YouTube videos lately, but that's just a color correction thing with YouTube. Oops. Got the SG. Three thirty-five. All in the background. Pedals everywhere. It's ridiculous. All right. Speaking of, let's see. So that, you know, knocking on. Uh, all right. Let's see if you guys can hear me better now. All right, so. Oh, cool. You can hear my voice better. Still low compared to the guitar. Well. I can turn it up more, 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 more. All right, that's more. I think when I was doing the sound check earlier, you know, I'm going like, hey, hey, like really loud, but now I'm talking kind of soft, so. Um, just looking at your comments, appreciate it. Sounding great now, okay, well, thanks. There we go, sounding great, okay. All right, so you take basic chords that cover a lot of the chord changes. So one of those is knocking on heaven's door is a great beginner, but then you've got uh, something that you would you would need like the E, D, and A. So E, D, and A. There's a lot of songs. One would be uh, Sympathy for the Devil. E to the D to D. A back to E. Just like that. And even without, oh, I can tune without you hearing it. I can see comments even while I tune. Multitasking here. Ciao from Italy. Mary, hope you're well and safe. Good day. A lot of Australians today. What's up, Australia? You guys taking care of Tom Hanks? Canada, what's up? Germany. Germany. Hey, Jay Savvy said I helped him start playing guitar. Nice, dude. All right, I'm in tune. Norway. California, Greece, Brazil. More cowbell. Colorado. What's up, dudes? Puerto Rico, Bulgaria, Florida, Canada, UK, Brazil, New York, South America, Georgia, Florida, Ireland, Texas Proud. Yeah, I just watched the ZZ Top documentary that's brand new on Netflix, and they talk about Texas Pride, how they're taught Texas history before U.S. history, and it's a real thing. So, But it was a great documentary. Antarctica, what? Minnesota, sun. America, London, Poland, uh, Philippines, Alabama, Norway. Oh, wow, it's going by fast. Good day. Kentucky, Russia. Wow. Oh, let's see. Grace and the Lego Builder said it's almost their birthday, so happy birthday. Uh, Greece, Liverpool, Liverpool. Sorry. 
All right, so uh, let me get back to this. Uh, e, E chord, A chord, and D chord are in so many different songs that you could do Sympathy for the Devil, which I just did. Um, tons of Tom Petty, like. How do you like Free Fallin' on an SG? <laughs> Um, Vancouver Island, Earth. Yes, we are in this together. Planet Earth. It's you and me. North Carolina. Kyrie Alout uh, 2 said I, they wouldn't be anywhere without me helping them. Thank you. Uh, United Arab Emirates, Israel, Spain, Kazakhstan, Austria, Aberdeen. Now, are people just messing with me now by just naming places? <coughs> Probably. Yes, probably. Um, okay, but then E, D, and A even cover stuff like this. Sweden. Massachusetts. California. India. All right, we got another... Uh, Crazy for Cardboard Prospecting has another super chat here for me. So thank you for that support. Long time watcher. Don't make guitar content yet as I suck, but love the channels and the site. Looking for to grow my channel. Mind throwing a click, bro? Well, you got a shout out. Crazy for Cardboard Prospecting. That's a start. It's always a start. Um, but I will say uh, I had a lot of fun last Saturday before all this quarantining i don't think that's a word maybe it is is quarantine being quarantined uh i had a great time with uh, murphy cargas from the band sugar ray so you guys should uh go check out his channel he made a really cool video this week so shout out to murphy um yes acdc always shouting out to acdc um got the sg here bosnia But so anyway, I started with the chords. And another really good one. I mean, geez, why not? Let's just have some fun here. Even though that guitar is like perfectly tuned now. Let's grab this one. And so a classic progression is uh, Let It Be and... Everything sharp. Thunder. Oh, 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 thunder. The Holy Grail. I love it. Love my hat. Thank you. You guys all doing all right out there? So another classic to get your chord, your open chords. I think that's the first thing. That and a couple of easy, like, open string riffs. That's where you want to start. So, like, Let It Be by the Beatles is really the exact same thing as No Woman, No Cry. So you got C, G, A minor, F, C, G, skip the A minor, F down to Z. So you have that. So, find myself in times of trouble when the man comes to me speaking words of wisdom let it be no woman no cry no woman no cry Catherine Scanlon, thank you. So those are the exact same thing, and that's, once again, a great little progression to get those chords moving and to work on your chords under the context of a jam. So let's see. I'm going to turn that into reggae for a second. Let's see. So C, G, A minor, uh, let's see. Everything's going to be all right. Everything's going to be all right. Yeah. Use the Marty Music Looper.
Uh, Logan, you keep asking about the licks of uh, Last Kiss by Pearl, well, Pearl Jam made that cover famous. I actually, uh, you know, I don't have it in front of me to listen to those licks, but uh, that is a classic. Uh... So you have something very major sounding, G, E minor, C, and D. Which is a great beginner progression. So that would be the G major pentatonic scale, which is the exact same thing as the E minor pentatonic scale, but the G note is the root. I'll show you what I mean. So another little thing, besides some basic chords and progressions like that, um, No Woman No Cry, Let It Be, uh, Sympathy for the Devil, Knocking on Heaven's Door, uh, Last Dance with Mary Jane's a really good one because it gets that A minor in there. <laughs> A little sloppy there, sorry. But so that's another really good one. Um, but then you also want to get rocking on some of those classic single note riffs like, uh, you know, TNT, Dirty Deeds, Thunder, Cheap. Both of those are great. <laughs> Thank you. 
Yeah! So, let's see. Let me... Lose all the bendies. All right, so let me just recap here. You got uh, some muscle memory stuff for your chords, so then you can focus more on your rhythm. And so that's focusing on the top finger of each chord first. So example, ring finger on the third fret of the A string is your what you think of when you're learning a C chord. Boom, put that there, and then form the rest of the chord. For a D chord, index finger on the second fret of the G. Like that. Then some uh, easy progressions like no woman, no cry. Let it be. Uh, then other progressions that have like an E in there, a D in there, and an A, like sympathy for the devil. Then there's great little open riffs that everyone learns. I have a YouTube video, like easy one string riffs for a beginner, like. etc. Then from there, a great way to go is to just at least start just lightly starting to mess with power chords. Michael Buono, Michael Buono, super chat. Thank you so much. You're requesting Vultures by John Mayer. Uh, I don't even know what key that is, but I know that it's the, uh, I am gonna teach that on YouTube. Just for you, Michael. But he's definitely using, uh, like... That interval, they're called fourths. I mean, that's not the song, but I know the main, like, musical device he uses for that riff. A um, lot of good days from Australia. Just acknowledging I see that. Um, so great. I'd love to go to Australia. Uh, Shane W says, Hey, appreciate what you've done for the community with your positive vibes. I've just got one question. Would you consider doing any more tool? Yes, I will do tool. It's just a little trickier with the weirdness, but, um, you know, it didn't happen, but I was actually very close to, uh, the guitar player from Tool teaching me a lesson at the NAMM show for, a, for my channel. I don't know, I mean, I was said, I said yes, 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 yes. I don't know what happened where it, you know, on their end, it was, uh, it was through Gibson. But uh, anyway, that could still, I could still try and make that happen. Um, Chris Sarantos says, teach an acoustic version of Pearl Jam's Given to Fly. McCready plays it on PJ20. Well, love it. I love Pearl Jam. Uh, that would be awesome. I'll, I'll check that out. I don't think I've heard that acoustic version. But uh, thank you for the super chat. All my best to you. Um, oh, Chris Apple says Adam Jones went to his high school along with Tom Morello. Wow. So Adam Jones is the tool guitar player, but Tom Morello and Adam Jones at the same high school. Impressive. Impressive. I've got uh, Lars Ulrich from Metallica, the drummer. He went to my high school for like one year or something. He's a lot older than me, so I wasn't there. And then uh, the band Sugar Ray went to my high school and we had Murphy from Sugar Ray uh, on my uh, live stream last week. That's what I got. Uh, let's see, 
Burning for you. That's a good one. Sweet Home Alabama solo. Uh, sweet. That's a good idea. Anyway, open G licks. Yes, always good. The ocean. Love it. Poland. Hey, what's up? Uh, sweet child of mine. Always good. Uh, Boston smoking. ACDC solo. Corona Del Mar. Yeah. Uh, nowhere. Lamey Holmes has Corona Del Mar question mark. Yes. I went to Corona Del Mar High School in uh, Newport Beach, California. Class of 93. All right. Well, anyway, appreciate all the continued support. Oh, yeah. Here's what I was going to say. The next thing, if you get some easy progressions for the chords and then some open one string riffs and then maybe just a little bit of working on power chords the other step would be starting to attempt a 12 bar blues so those that's like the foundation and that's kind of what the title of the video or the concept of this uh, live stream was going to be since a lot of people i've heard from a lot of people saying hey i'm i'm locked in my house or i'm quarantined uh, I really want to play more guitar now, so I'm going to be digging into videos. So I thought a good foundational video or live stream today would be good. A random person, random person is in Australia, and it's really wants me to know that. So thank you. Good day. And all my best. <laughs> Diego Perez. Uh, he says, have you gone to Musicians Institute? No. I did go, uh, you know, I did uh, get a degree in music from a liberal arts college, but it wasn't the Musicians Institute. And really for me, this was before the internet, so you can learn so much now without having to go to music school. That didn't really exist before. Um, so, oh, I'm going to end with a 12-bar blues, but I do want to say one thing that I, I mean, I don't have the answers here, but I definitely, my heart goes out to people that are, let's say, guitar teachers out there. You know, want, like live, in-person guitar teachers, like my buddy Nate Donis that I think of, or, uh, you know, I know I know a ton of them, really, um, Guitar Ninjas in LA. Um, and then also my friends that are bartenders, or waiters, or chefs. You know, they work in the service industry. Uh, another huge, huge thing that has happened, uh, it's all the you know gigging and touring musicians out there, all the way up to like a band like Pearl Jam and Coachella, you know, all the way down to you know my brothers in the trenches, you know, playing out at bars and solo acoustic gigs. Um, you know, a lot of these people, their work has just been decimated, and they don't know for how long. Um, I remember. In 2008, when the economy crashed, I was a full-time gigging musician. So I was gigging four or five nights a week. I had as many as 70 students on my private lesson roster. And then I also did 20 hours a week as an elementary school music teacher. Um, you know, I was going lesson to lesson, check to check. And so if something like this would have happened when I was still doing that, I'd be in, you know, definitely very stressed, very anxious. Um, and so I just want to like one, say my heart goes out to all of all those people. Um, and then if you guys have any of you guys do have a guitar teacher or a friend that's a waiter or waitress, like whatever we can all do to help people that have been, uh, affected by this, uh, for their livelihood is, is a very serious thing. Obviously the health of humans on this planet is super important, but also my hearts go out to my friends that are being affected, you know, supporting their families and stuff. I, I uh, really feel for you. And uh, if you do have a teacher or someone that's a chef, whatever you can do, you know, take some Skype guitar lessons if you want with people, I'm not saying with me, you know, with teachers that you have, um, you know, there's, there's a lot of different things if you've got you know, some lower level bands. I think Pearl Jam's gonna be okay. And anyone that play, is playing at Coachella, they're gonna be fine. But if you know someone from a band that you like locally, you know, buy their album, hire the guitar, t t the guitar player for a Skype lesson. I mean, you know, any little bit that we can do to, to help 
uh, I, re I, you know, highly recommend, and just my heart goes out to you. Um, uh, CPT Howdy says, hey, Marty, what is your opinion of the Hot Rod Deluxe versus the Blues Deluxe Fender Amps? I'd have to A-B them right now for them both to be here in front of me, but the Hot Rod Deluxe, I just love it. It's such a workhorse. You get great tone. It has great built-in reverb. Um, and then the Hot Rod, the Blues Deluxe, I'm not as familiar with the tone in my head, so I think it would depend on what you do. But you can, Hot Rod Deluxe, you get great, clean tone that you can layer with pedals. So I just think it's a great, great way to go. Okay, uh, so before we wrap up, Marty, by Australia guy, Sunhouse. Dude, I'll learn most of what I know off your channel. Thank you. Um, if I had one guitar to choose from my arsenal, uh, well, this one for my electric or my old acoustic Martin that my dad gave me. Um, so anyway, please take care, you guys. Uh, I'm going to end with a little blues. All my best. Good day from France now. <laughs> uh great thank you for all thank you i'm just looking at your comments thank you so much okay a little bluesy blues let's see here what do we got my body heat is uh changing the tuning there we go All right. Loathing 75, thank you. 